you know, it's different in a way that suits this day and age, you know, and uh, to me it just it feels more realistic. Everyone who's been in martial arts have to see blood sport, kickboxing, and to be a part of this amazing remake, to be a part of history. The story is very similar in a way, but the way it's been told, it's very different. There is some sort of originality in it. It was difficult to stay true to the iconic original, and yet you want to bring it into modern day. Our lead character uh, is a fish out of water. He comes to this exotic land to avenge the death of his brother. Already to be remaking a movie that inspired me so much in my life is something so amazing. But to have Jean-Claude come back and play the mentor, I think it's the coolest thing in the world. To have Jean-Claude Van Damme back, passing the torch, oh, it's happening. My microphone sound man of kickboxing to remake. Very professional. Every teenage boy that like grew up in the 90s is just obsessed with that movie. I never thought that I would be in the remake. I think if we would have made this film without him, I think for one, it wouldn't have been nearly as good. But also I think that, I think that there would have been a lot of people very unhappy. Uh, Jean-Claude is blessing the next generation and uh, Alain Moussi is himself an incredible martial artist. Uh, Jean-Claude is ordaining him the new martial arts action hero of today. Just so talented, uh, just watching his fight scenes is amazing and he's just the nicest guy in the world. Alain is a great martial artist, he's a very athletic. He's a mix of uh, martial artist and gymnastic guy. He can he can do it do it all. He's a former stun stuntman as well. I, mean, I, I know guys who have trained for years and years in the style of martial arts or, or that, but they're still not uh, Alain Moussi. You know, they're just not. They just don't have that gift. It's a gift that he has. We have real fighters, five world champions to be exact. So when you see them doing action scenes, they're not being doubled by anybody. Uh, they're actually moving and fighting the way that they normally move and fight. We started figuring out ways to make it more real, and I said, let's go into the UFC and get those guys to be in this movie, let's integrate our movie into their world, and then vice versa, we can use both social platforms to go out and promote each other. This guy fought over 30 guys just for you for this movie. You've got the real deal expendables here. Again, five world champions. GSP, George St. Pierre, Dave Batista, Fabricio Verdum, who's a current world champion, Cain Velasquez, and Gina Carano. The villain was, you know, they set him up to be this larger than life villain. Tung Po is, he's the, he's the martial arts version of the devil. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he is. It's fun being bad. These UFC fighters really did a nice job for Dimitri in how they performed and how they showed up and really had a good work ethic for trying to just make little parts of the movie. My character's name is Marcia, the dirty, rotten promoter. She pretty much brings the fighters over to uh, Thailand to set them up with Tong Po for death matches. It was really important for me and my character to provide some sort of like emotion to the movie and some kind of femininity because you know there's a lot of testosterone around there's a lot of guys in this movie there's a lot of fighting and there's a lot of you know action character is uh he's part of the bad guy in the beginning but uh something happened there was a turnaround and he joined uh, the main actor to become a good guy the fights that you see, the people that get to be up, there's real Muay Thai fighters in this movie. So it's no trick. We have a brilliant stunt coordinator and fight, uh, fight choreographer on the movie that his sole uh, goal was to make this very unique, bring in a lot of style, give it variety. 
the end of the day, when everything's all said and done, and it's all clipped together, and the performances, and the editing, and, and the direction, you know, it's just, it, all, it all translates, man, and it ends up into one big great product at the end of the day. Because if it was like the old kickboxer movies, they were cool when we were kids, that's what, this ha that's what happened on this one. It really made it like it was authentic. You have yet to see this kind of martial arts action that we present in kickboxer venues. It's iconic in and of itself. You do not want to miss this movie.